like I earlier said, positioning is about taking things and putting them in different areas of your screen. That's the basics of how we can describe positioning. And the best way to obviously further explain this would be to you know show you an example. I'm going to create four boxes, and each of these boxes would uh, concentrate on a particular position, position um, CSS styling. So this is the first one. And so four divs, one that so we have four divs, and I'm using an external style sheet. So we have these four divs, and I'm going to make use of the first child, last child, and you know, all the nth properties that I talked about before. So let's do that. So div, we're gonna give them so we'll say div, we'll give um We'll say it, let's say height. No, 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 height. We'll say 200 pixels with, let's say 200 pixels. Um, background color. And we'll say, let's start with aqua first. Okay, so now it looks like, yeah, they're all stacked on each other. Let's give them, um, let's just say margin. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that's true. I remember I said I was going to give you guys the shortcut for all positionings and so for, for padding, margin, and borders. So let, let me just do that right now. Okay, so for margin, you could just leave it as instead of saying margin bottom, margin top, margin left, margin right, we would just say margin. Then we would say, so for, for, for the top, you could just say 10 pixels. Or oh, let's just say. 10 pixels so naturally you could just say let's just start with zero so you understand what i'm saying zero 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 so this is for top this is for the left so the right this is for bottom and this is for the left so it goes in a clockwise manner from the top to the to the right to the bottom to the left so if we see this this is the top so if we see 20 pixels everything would have a 20 pixels uh, margin at the top of everything so that's for that so this one um, there's no way for us to see this on the left or right but you get the idea same thing would apply for every other one so if, for example if you see this is for bottom right so if we see 20 pixels, there'll be additional space to read. Yeah, so you can see there's an additional space to it. So if you increase it, I like that. Yeah, you get the gist. All right, um, same thing would apply for padding two. Uh, we can't okay let's just imagine there's something in inside so you could apply the same principles to padding so you just say padding um, let's say with zero 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 at first let's put something inside uh, let's just say p tag let's just start with the first one I don't have to duplicate anything inside so you can see now it's flushed right at the edge and if we if I increase the padding, this is, let's say padding for the top, if I say 20 pixels, and save. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, that should work. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah. So if I say 20, so you can see now there is a 20 pixel um, padding at the top. If I say for the, this is, right we wouldn't be able to really see that but let's talk about the bottom same thing we wouldn't be able to see that too but let's move to the what's it called to the left so if we say 20 pixels to so you can see now there is 20 pixels yeah 
uh, there is also like a further shortcut for this. So if you, instead of making it four, if you make it two, and this, so this would be top, bottom, and this would be left, right. Top, bottom, left, right. So now if we save, Okay, so now you can see the margin, top, so for the margin, this is top, bottom. But now if we wanted to apply it to the left and right, let's start for, uh, let's make this 40 pixels. Let's start with the margin. So you can see the top and the bottom are having the margin. If you, if you apply that to for padding, we wouldn't be able to see it like that, but you get the gist. And if we do left, right, let's say 20 pixels, left right you can see it applies left right so that's the idea as for border um, we would say border is the unit you know we said border style border width border border um, border style border width and border we said style width and um, color uh-huh so one pixel is the width then the style of the solid you can use dashed or something else if you it's also dashed okay let's just try it let we'll start with solid then um black yeah so if we change it to two pixels yeah, so you could change this from solid. There's, I think there's dotted. Yeah, so you can see there's dotted. Yeah, other styles, and you could check that out. Okay, so now that we know, now that we know the shortcuts for all this, let's head back to our positioning. Now, I'm just going to give each of them different colors so that they stand out and we could have a better understanding of what we're working with. Uh, so I'll say div, first child, then we'll say, so it's saying, remember it's saying that any div that is a first child of uh -huh, that kind of thing. So in, like in our documents, this div is a first child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has to be first shot. So I'm just going to change the background color. I want it to say red. So now that's red. And then I'll do um, the last child. Then I'll say blue. So we know blue. Blue. Then I would say um, nth child, um, a second child I want it to be, let's say yellow, oh, no, let's say yellow green, that's much more subtle. Yeah, and then the, ch the third child, I'm going to have that to be uh, orange. I haven't used that. Okay, so now we have these. Okay, so let's start with the first child. And the position we're going to give the first child. So in order to change the position, you say position, and we say absolute. We're going to start with absolute first. We we'll start with absolute, then we'll move to other ones. So. Absolute. So we're going to imagine the positioning for these as different. Um, let's just say this: the body had different children, and these are the four divs. And this positioning would give different attributes to these children. So if you say you give something absolute, what does it mean? Now imagine this first child to be a vagabond. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only way I can explain it. So now the child has grown up and is like, you know what, I want to do 
anything I like. I just want to leave this family and stay away and nobody to contact me. I don't care what it is. It, it, you know, it wants to leave the flow of the family and do whatever it wants. That's how you can imagine position absolute to be like. Because when we refresh, you would see that. Okay, so after you put your position, um, position absolute, you could tell it where you want it to go to. So if you say you want it to go to the right, and so let's say right 20 pixels, and then you say top um, 100 pixels, we'll see what will happen. So these two are very important because you are trying to say that, okay, I want to position you absolutely to wherever these things are. Yeah, so we'll see what I'm saying. So now, this uh, vagabond of a child um, has decided he wants to leave the family. And now you could see what happens. Now that we've refreshed, we could see that this is where it is. It has decided to leave the family legacy, left his or left their brother and sister or whatever, their siblings behind. And now it's cruising on its own. Now, if we look at it, you could see that we have 20 pixels, right? 100 pixels. So now if we say this means 20 pixels to the right hand side and 100 pixels from the top. If you move, change this to, let's say, left. Not left, left. So you can see that's 20 pixels from the left. You can apply the same thing to the bottom if you'd like to. Now, that's for, but let's return it back to right. So that's for positioning absolute because, you know, the most important thing I would like to point out, or one important thing I would like to point out is that when you give something position absolute, it leaves the flow of the entire of its parent, essentially. It leaves the flow of its parent. And that means that the other siblings can replace it, or the other sibling, the, the, the other siblings, okay, wherever, the siblings replace it, like it replaces the position where it was before. If we do, if I on the comment this out and I do this, you can see this is where the red is, but the moment I give it absolute, you can see it's this that has replaced it. So that's for that. Now, um, let's move to relative. I want to give the second child relative, so I think I should bring this here. We're targeting the this particular one, we're targeting this particular one, and let's so we'll say position position relative. We'll give it the same the same style properties and then let's see what happens. Now so let's make this left instead of right. So that it's much more obvious what is happening. Okay. So now you could see that the second child moved a hundred pixels from the top, and then it moved 20 pixels from the left. And now we begin to wonder: so is this also a vagabond? What's the difference between this absolute child and this particular one? Well, the difference is that this doesn't leave the flu like it doesn't leave it doesn't leave the flow of the particular page. As you could see, this particular one isn't replacing it. Like the way this one replaced this one. The flow is still the same. The only difference is that this this particular one decided to move a bit. It decided to move a bit. So just imagine the second child just said, all right, you know what? 
I'm not running away. I'm not leaving this family. However, I'm just going to the market. I just want to get something. You know, I'll be back. So, don't take my position in this family. Leave me as I am. Um, I will be back. So, just imagine that. So, that's, that's what it is for relative compared to absolute. All right. You'll be wondering what's the difference between this and this. Like, I mean, they are both moving. So why are we hating on this guy? And why are we like, why are we not hating on this guy? Well, the difference is that while this one decided to leave the family legacy, I was like, you know what? I don't care about this family any longer. You could take my spot. See, and which is why this one replaced it at first. This isn't leaving the family legacy. It's not staying away from family. However, just imagine this to be said, okay, you know what? I'm going to, I'm just going to work. I'll be back. I'm going to the market. I'll be back. So the position of where it is, relative, remember, now we're talking about relative. The position of where it is, of where it's, it is presently is relative to where it was. That's what I want to point out. It is relative to where it was. So as we're moving it left or right, it is relative to where it was. So it's like, okay, this is my position presently. I am moving 20 pixels to the left relative to where I was before. Same thing for this one. That's what I want to point out. So that's the difference between position relative and position absolute. Because now, if you give this absolute, you'll see what happens. So if you refresh, you can see it's still in the same place, but the third child has replaced it. The third child has replaced it because it has left the flow. And now the third child has replaced it to where it was before. It has left the flow, unlike if it is relative. It hasn't left the flow. However, the position has changed relative to where it was before. So that's the key difference between um, position relative and position absolute. The next one I would like to talk about is fixed. It's very nice. You see it a lot. Uh, you don't just know that's it. Okay, so let's see. So for, I want which charge should be fixed. Okay, okay. Um, Hmm. Okay, let's see the last child should be fixed. Let's see. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's hmm. Okay, let's make the third child fixed. Let's see. Is there a position fixed? So remember, you have to place where you want it to be. So this time we're going to see bottom, let's say 10 pixels. And then we'll say, we don't need the left to move. Let's just fix it at the bottom. Okay, so refresh. Okay. So now for fixed, what happened? So the first thing I want you to know about fixed is that, okay, it doesn't really look like anything is happening. So let me increase the page size. So let's just see body. And then we'll see. Um, how many pixels do we want this page? Let's just say 4,000 pixels. Okay, that isn't. Did I? Oh, sorry, I'm supposed to be tight in front. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so now we have this very, very long page. And what did we notice immediately is that this isn't moving. This isn't moving. This isn't moving. So it's just fixed. It's stuck to where we told it to be. 
So you can imagine this as that child that the many family members are like, you know what? We are traveling, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving where we are presently, we're moving to another country. And this guy's like, you know what? I don't want to jack off. I don't want to move from where I am. And that's it. So it's like, you know what? I'm staying put. Uh, you guys can go, but I'm staying put. So yeah, that's the idea of, of fixed. So it's just fixed to where it is, where we told it to be. The remaining family members could be moving. But you see this guy, it's not moving. Now, that's a pretty straightforward, right? Now let's talk about the last child. I will talk about position sticky. Now, how can we imagine sticky? Sticky can be imagined as, you know, it, let's give it, let's give it, um, let's say top. Let's say the top is 200. No, no, no. Let's say 100. Let's say 100 pixels. And then, yeah, that, that just, we could, let's just start with that. Now, you could imagine Sticky as a situation where the last child is like, you know what? Oh, that's true. Ah, oh, that's a very, very lovely idea. Let's move away from this country. This country is tiring, honestly. And I'm just exhausted. I'll just move with you guys. So then they're having a connecting flight from here to, let's say, South Africa, wherever the connecting flight is. However, this child has other plans in place. When the child gets to South Africa, the child <laughs> bids the family goodbye. Something like that. So what do I mean by this scenario? Okay, so if we refresh, it looks like the, you see, everything is cool. It didn't move its position in the family. Nothing is wrong. You know, okay, okay, fine. That, that's cool. However, this is what happens when we start to scroll. You can see when it gets to where we told it so this is top 100 pixel once it got to top 100 pixel it just left the rest of the family behind <laughs> like it just said all right bye bye you know that kind of thing and then if you scroll back up and you go so it goes back again mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's essentially the gist about positioning. So remember, there's absolute, the vagabond, relative, the second child. I said, oh my God, I'm not leaving my position. Fixed is saying, you know what, you guys are leaving, but I'm staying behind. Sticky, yes, I agree, I'm moving with you guys, but I have other plans in place. So essentially, that's the whole gist about positioning. Um, I hope you enjoy my little story. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should have given each of the boxes names so that that would have been more interesting. So instead of content, we'd have had something like a day here. Um, then we'd have Chima inside here. Chima is the second child. And then we'd have... Um, uh, let's see, baby solar and that here, and what well, maybe we would have. Um, mm, let's see, mm, those are something, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that, yeah, now we have characters, uh -huh. there's more characters to it, yeah. So that's about that's it about positioning. Next, we're going to talk about a very, very, we're going to talk about Z index and that, I think that should also be interesting. <laughs>